Hi everyone, it's MJ and welcome to this introductory course on probability distributions. Now we know that stats can help us answer questions and it can help us to optimize processes. But in order for it to do that, we need information on our random variable. Now the two key pieces of information that we need are on the parameter and the distribution. And what this course does, and this chapter, it is focused on understanding what we actually mean by a probability distribution. We would have seen in the earlier course when we dealt with probability that we can create these functions that can help us have a distribution. In the early, early course, we saw that you can actually use graphs to kind of get a shape of the distribution, but it is much better to represent it mathematically. Now, distributions can be broken into two main groups. The one is discrete, where we use nice simple algebra to figure things out, and continuous distributions, where we have to rely on quite heavy calculus. So make sure your maths is up to scratch. Now, distributions are powerful, and a lot of people struggle with this section because they try and learn each of these distributions on their own. What you need to do is you need to understand that the distributions are linked to each other. So when we do this course, I want you to try and see how the chi-squared is linked to, say, the normal distribution, how your geometric distribution is linked to your negative binomial. If you can start appreciating those relationships, then the section does become a lot easier. Another thing that people do struggle with is that the maths that we're going to be doing here is very abstract. And people are like, why on earth am I doing it? Am I doing it solely to try and answer some weird probability questions? And the answer is no. Distributions are a key component for the rest of the course, and they are critical for us in finding this information to do these higher order things. So I think it's important to keep in the back of your mind that there is a purpose with this, but yes, some of you will struggle because the maths and the ideas behind this are very abstract. But we're gonna be going through each of these distributions in the videos that follow, and hopefully you will get a much better understanding. But if you have any questions or comments, please let me know under these videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the rest of the course. Cheers.